Hello children, here is your Aima again to read out a story from a story bubble called as born illustrated stories from around the world. The story is from the country called Africa and the story is about a very small tree called the Baobab tree. This is the Baobab tree. So now I will read out the story like this. A long, long time ago, the gods made the world. Gods made the world. They made the land and the sea. They made the animals and plants. One day, they even made a talking tree. This is the talking tree. Hello. At first, they were delighted with it. They watered it with showers of rain. They sent the sun to warm its leaves and they called it the Baobab tree. Baobab, Baobab. The Baobab tree talked and talked and talked, but it did not talk about the gentle rain or the shining sun. Instead, the Baba tree moaned and groaned all day long and all night too. I don't like this soil. It's complaining. I don't like this soil. When the weather was hot, the Baba tree was not happy. Oh, it is too hot. It complained. When the gods sent cool breezes, it complained about us. Oh, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm feeling cold like this. See? Complaining. The Baba tree could always find something to be unhappy about. <laughs> I'm very thirsty. The soil is so hot and dry. I'm very thirsty. And it would not let the gods get on with their work in peace. When they grew a forest of thick, tall trees, the Baba really complained. Why can't I be taller? Why can't I be taller? This is the big tree and it is the Baba tree. Not fair. It whined. I want to be taller. Make me taller. Make me taller. Make me taller. The Baba tree winked and moaned so much that the god were in despair. Still, they got on with their job. Next, they made all kinds of pretty trees. Some had soft pink blossoms. Others had bright red flowers. The Baba tree did not like those at all. Why did you make me so plain and green? It yelled up to the gods. The gods made so beautiful trees with fruits and all and with different colors. Then, by now the gods were furious. We never should have made that tree. They muttered to themselves. The gods were very angry. Every time the Baba tree is complaining. So they flew down to see the Baobab tree. Stop mourning or else they warned. Why should I? You can't make me. You can't make me. So God once came down and warned the Baobab tree. So the gods sighed and went back to work making wonderful fruit trees that grew juicy ripe fruits. I want fruit below the Baobab tree. Can you hear me? I demand to have some fruit. See, lots of fruits in different trees and it is the Baobab tree moaning again. So what happened there? Stop! cried the gods. We can't hear it anymore. Stop talking. We will make you stop. So, 
They were very angry, the gods. They grabbed the baobab tree and turned it upside down. Then they made a hole and thrust the tree into the ground head first. Look what they did, the gods. They uprooted the baobab tree and put the head inside the soil. The baobab tree was completely silent for the first time in its life. Ah, peace at last. Ah, its mouth was so full of art, it could not make a sound anymore. No one has ever heard the baobab tree say another word. This is probably a good thing for everyone. See what happened? God's made baobab tree silent by putting its head down and roots up. So from that day, baobab tree become very silent. So this is a story from Africa. How did you like it? Tell me. And next time I will read out a different story from a different country. Till then, bye-bye, bye-bye. Stay happy, stay safe. Lots of love to you all.